and welcome to today's video. My name's Amy if you're new here and I do videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle and I'm thinking I need to start saying DIYs it seems like all my videos are ending up to be DIY videos. Um, so today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go to my local garden centre which have their Christmas decorations up. They put them up on the August bank holiday. Um, it's Summer Hill if you live in Essex and it's really really great. Great place to take children and um, great place for a nice evening or afternoon activity um i really love going there um all times of year but especially at christmas have great inspiration for diys so if you're a diy like me definitely somewhere to go for some inspiration so if you'd like to see what it's like there and how it's all laid out then just carry on watching <laughs> This is definitely the vibe tree I'm going to go for for my beauty room and I'm going to get some personalised baubles with my logo on. And some bougie. So beautiful. Oh, I love that idea. Maybe get a hula hoop and DIY that. It would be really fun. I love these ice balls, but you'd need a very big tree. We're spotting loads of stuff that you could DIY, so I'd definitely do some Christmas DIYs. I like this wood slice. Literally just has some glitter on and it's six pounds. You could literally make that for free if you've got a tree with some logs that you can use and then glitter. I love this little scene. I love this. It's a little decor piece. I've never done a blue tree, but I do love these blue baubles. Again, baubles are so easy to DIY, so I quite like to come to a place like this and get inspiration and then get DIYing and get these feathery things from Poundland and they're really nice. This is the gold section. These trees are so beautiful. I love this gold bobsled. This would also be super easy to DIY. I'm thinking maybe these are polystyrene and just shredded together and put some glitter on. It would be really easy to DIY. I'm going to be covered in glitter. If you live in Essex, and you want to get some cute Christmassy Instagrams, I mean we're very too early, then come to Summerhill. They have always have little photo corners like this and they're beautiful. This literally screams Christmas to me. Candy canes and sweets. This is pure Christmas magic. They're not actually playing Christmas music, so I think it may be even too early for Summerhill, but the candy canes. This red and white tree is giving me life. Love. Love a nutcracker and champagne. Oh yeah, them champagne. It's a lot of champagne. Okay, it's a lot of champagne. Yeah, I only love them ones. Love a nutcracker. Have you got any? It's another one of their photo corners. I don't think they finished this one yet, but it's crazy. Love this scene. It's so pretty. Some cinnamon scented pine cones. So these would be really easy to DIY too. Definitely will do loads of Christmas DIYs because I love that more than anything. This photo corner definitely gonna to have to come here at Christmas to get some festive Instagrams, but it's really quiet today because obviously everyone's at school. And another giant nutcracker, which is my dream. I will own a giant nutcracker one day. But he's £700. Love this tree, it's just got loads and loads of lights on. It's super plain, but it reminds me a bit of the one in America. I love it. Some very cute, more rustic decorations. Oh my gosh. The dinosaur Christmas decoration. I do actually have quite a few dinosaur Christmas decorations. I love dinosaurs. They've also got ducks. Grandpa's do, but they'd be really easy to make and you could make them with children. So that's a really good pack. Also got loads of trains. I really like that. That's so pretty. Very intricate. Then got a wall of ball balls and then tinsel for any theme. So if you've got a specific colour you want, you must be a place to come. I don't normally like tinsel with this. It looks a bit fairy. Is that any way of describing it? Like super fluffy tinsel. I'm sure this, this is three pounds for one strip. So you'd need quite a lot, but it's so beautiful. A super easy DIY ball ball you could do. And they want two pounds for that again. So you could make that. Love 
love, love this bauble. That's so beautiful. That's three pounds. And also, if you like unicorns or you've got little girls that like unicorns, that's great. And also, very easy to see why as well with a pin. So beautiful. Nice. These look like relatively easy to see why. If you get some lacy material, you can stick that on. And these are beautiful. I do you think baubles are quite easy to DIY? I think I'll do maybe a DIY bauble session. Um, to where you get all the cheap stuff. These flowers I love, but you can get flowers from Poundland. Um, I would just say get them earlier rather than later because when it comes to Christmas, they sell out. I may have to get a pink nutcracker for my beauty room because I think that is only fitting. That one's £10. Uh, the medium is 20 and then the large is 80 But he's very tall. He's probably about a metre tall has just spotted little nail varnish decorations should i need that for my beauty <laughs> my beauty room looks so funny this is the final bauble i'm going to show but this is glass and then it's got these really beautiful decorations they're kind of autumnal so we got like an orangey an orangey tree then a break from christmas i've got a whole fish section so it's really good if you've got kids and you want to take them out sort of an afternoon They've got all fishies. Yeah. All fishies, they're very fun. Neon looking fish, can't tell on the camera. So cool, they're like multicoloured, they're like pride fish. <laughs> Every colour pot under the sun. Oh, I love them tile print ones, they're beautiful. It's a very giant plant to go in these pots and a very big house. There's some colours on these pots. Have you seen my DIY video? I'm to make some like these. They're a lot smaller. Pretty, all the plants. Got a full dinosaur section at the back, which I love, and a full velociraptor. This is so beautiful. I haven't been right down to the back, so I don't know if this has always been here or if this is new. I think the dinosaur's new. Got a little pond with ducks. It's a really nice place to go. Take the kids for a little day out. It's like every herb. My sister just got a rosemary bush in her garden and we had some rosemary from it and it was amazing i made the best potatoes with it so nice all different herbs and these are £3.50 love them hanging baskets they're really nice oh and that's beautiful that is beautiful that's beautiful some homeware bits i love these little trays and this little travel mug it's really cute these little baskets too they're really cute this one's £2.50 but it is only tiny um, but they're really pretty really nice little pot pots like a monster like a monster zinc monster oh and this one very different hanging plants so that's 22 that one I don't know how much this little guy is but I do like him I can't keep real plants alive so I think not, not to buy them and if I do I don't spend too much money on them like these ones already in the hanging baskets. Got loads of sail bits, loads of weed diffusers, and the little cherry things. That a lot, the doormat, very fun. Chairs, so much. £250 for the whole set. I like that a lot. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up and comment if you haven't already. I didn't actually pick up anything um, apart from a lot of DIY inspiration. So definitely look out for them videos. And if you don't want to miss them videos, then definitely hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.